Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of The Pick 6. I'm your host, Mike Wabshaw, at the TCO Performance Center in Egan. Free agency is off and running. The draft is right around the corner. Lots of stuff to get to. Thanks for sending in your questions. Let's get to work. The first one comes from Chris. With all the attention to the re-signing of Anthony Barr, what happened to our real need of quality offensive line help? Well, don't worry, Chris and Vikings fans. The Vikings are still focused on improving the offensive line this offseason. Free agency is still going, so there's time to sign an offensive lineman or two if the Vikings wish. But the draft is where the Vikings could really address this position. There are some quality offensive linemen in this year's draft. And I always think when it comes to the offensive line, the draft is a better place to go than free agency. Question number two comes from Liam in Australia. We re-signed Amir Abdullah. So with Latavius Murray gone, do you think we'll see him or Mike Boone as the RB2? Or will we look to the draft? It is good news that Abdullah is back, not just from an offensive standpoint, but from a special team standpoint as well. He can return and he can do some other things to help the Vikings out on special teams. So good news that we got Amir back in the fold. I do think he will compete with Mike Boone for reps on offense. And I also think the Vikings will consider the running back position when it comes to the draft and to signing undrafted free agents. That's a position where it pays to have depth. The next question comes from Joseph. We've lost a few starters, Murray, Sandejo, and Richardson. Can we fill all these slots in the draft? It's possible you can find some starters in this year's draft class, especially in the top 50 or top 100 picks where the Vikings will select multiple players. But you also have guys already on the roster who are developing, who could have a chance to earn starting roles, like a Mike Boone, for example, or Anthony Harris, or Jalen Holmes, or Jaleel Johnson. These guys have been in the Vikings program now for more than a year, some of them for two or three seasons. They have a chance to develop into starters. Joe from Iowa has the next question. I'm hearing a lot of talk about the Vikings taking a tight end. Why is that? We seem okay with Rudolph, Morgan, and Conklin contributing last year. You're right, Joe, we are okay at tight end. I think tying tight ends to the Vikings in the draft is not an indictment on the Vikings' existing tight ends. Those guys are quality players. But remember, this is a really good tight end class. So when you have a really good class of players, it makes some sense to pick from it to add to your roster. The other thing to consider is the Vikings want to improve in the running game and in the pass protection game. And offensive linemen aren't the only ones who can do that. So if you don't have a quality offensive lineman on the board when you're picking, a tight end is sometimes the next best option. The next question comes from Demarius. What are your thoughts on Devontae Downs? Is he a starting caliber player? I don't think Devontae is a starting caliber player right now for the Vikings in his career development or considering the fact that the Vikings have Anthony Barr, Eric Kendricks, and Ben Gideon as their starters. So the Vikings are pretty good at linebacker, but the one thing you can say about Downs is he's another example of a late round Vikings draft pick who made the roster and stayed on the roster for the regular season. He was a big time contributor on special teams. So I'm not writing him off quite yet, but right now he's a depth player. Our final question comes from Marsha in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Were you on board with the re-signing of Dan Bailey? Well, what the Vikings have in Dan Bailey is a kicker who's made 86.6% of his career field goals. That's good. He was 30 of 31 on extra points last year. That's good. He can handle kickoffs. And the last thing about Dan Bailey that I like that's sort of underrated is it provides the Vikings with continuity with the battery of the punter, the kicker, and the long snapper. It's always a battle when you have to deal with new parts in that battery. The Vikings won't have that dilemma this offseason. That'll do it for this week's edition of The Pick 6. Thank you for watching, and thank you for submitting your questions. Please continue to do so using the email address at the bottom of the screen. Maybe we'll see you next week.